Hello and welcome everyone. How's everybody doing? Well, we're here at Bush Gardens for a post hurricane visit. Yay. Looking at the damage that was around our place, I hardly think there's gonna be anything happening around here. They were closed Wednesday, they reopened Thursday, and somebody actually caught some video of Kumba running test cycles. Stay tuned for more. in and security was a breeze and we are coming out to check out some new shirts we have here oh look at this this is a new shirt for hollow screen it has the forgotten uprising dh baggins circus of fear the residents home for the holidays stranglewood estate and rich of the woods rotting the rotting pig speakeasy. <laughs> the sheet list. Don't know sheet. Too old for it. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna read through them all. But yeah, you get the point. I love this shirt. I guess if I get back, I'm gonna get that. Psycho Chick, Scaredy Cat. Sucks to be you. I really like this one. On this shirt. Charlie, can you check the price on that shirt? Give me a moment. Yeah. It's a purse. Mm, carry long. Oh. Well, these are twenty nine ninety nine. Probably these are also. Hollow Scream, Jersey. It's going for $69.99. Jackets. We came, we saw, we screamed. Yep. And now we will go. Well, I got my hollow screen here. Okay. Well, they're all over the price with the prices. So I'm thinking the shirts are probably, well, these, well, these are a little bit thicker. And these are going for $39.99. Yep. Uh, okay, so today is a partly cloudy day. The Friday after Hurricane Adalia, or yeah, however you want to pronounce that. So far, 
I don't know. I don't see any damage. I've seen more, uh, more hollow scream stuff, so that might be a good sign. Well, post hurricane, best time to come to Bush Gardens. Yesterday, um, they opened up. Uh, that was Thursday. And all the rides had like five, ten. I think the most I saw was 15 minute wait time. Hopefully, today will be just about the same. I actually didn't check, so um, let's go ahead and do a little check here and see what the crowd levels was like yesterday. Now, yet yeah, the app I use is Q Times. And I'm gonna click on the crowd calendar. And of course, I gotta go back a month. So, yeah, August. Wow. Wait a second. That don't look right. Alright, so yeah. Um, well, Wednesday they predicted 11%. But Tuesday, Tuesday they closed early, and it was zero, and Thursday also zero. Yeah. And loud, like I showed, like I said, 15 minutes for the longest wait time. So yeah, you guys really want to know the best place, best time to come is right after a storm, right after a hurricane. Good morning. So it's uh, 1040 and uh, we got two rides in on Iron Gwazi already. Um, first one we were in row 11, the second run we actually waited an extra turn so we can get the very last row. And guess what guys? You won't believe it. It's still only five minutes. Five minute wait time. Now I was told a number and uh, I'm not sure if I was actually supposed to be told this number, but that only estimated to be maybe 3,000 people here today. Just keep that on a down low. It's going to be very, very empty today. More than likely, it's due to the fact that there's still a lot of people probably checking out the damage or because of the hurricane, they probably all decided um, not to come for some reason or another. But yeah, this is post-hurricane for Bush Gardens, and uh, yesterday rides maximum wait time was 15 minutes, but everything pretty much had only a five minute wait time. So we are going to uh, give you a, a big update. As of today, September 1st, they are going cashless. Bush Gardens will not accept cash anywhere anymore. Now they do have some kiosks available that you can go and convert your cash into like a gift card or like a visa card. So there is some at the entrance and there's some uh, I think in where you rent the strollers and wheelchairs. So if you need to uh, convert your cash into a card there you go but keep in mind next time you come don't bring cash to Bush Gardens 
very good day so far. It's uh, about 11.50 and we got two runs on Iron Gwazi, two runs on Cobra's Curse, a run on Cheetah Hunt, and a run on Montu. Yep. And now we're getting hungry. Well, you're getting hungry. Well, yeah, I'm getting a little hungry. And we met up with so many people. Guys, again, I can't thank you enough. We hit 605 subs. Woohoo! Keep on hitting that subscribe button and you get more woohoos. We're gonna actually go and check out the Miami Reserve because rumor has it the chimps have a have new PlayStation. A new play place. Well, you place, didn't know what I mean. Yeah, the PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah, what they get the PlayStation 6, 7, 8? Yeah. Okay. So they got a PlayStation to play with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's go check out the new uh, PlayStation that the chimpanzees have. PlayStation. <laughs> huh? Oh. Well, there it is, guys. New play jungle gym for the uh, for the chimps, but. I don't see any chimps out. The door is open over there. So there's a very good chance. Uh, the thing about Bush Gardens is the animals actually have a choice if they want to come out or not. If they want to stay in in the air conditioning, they're free to do so and they're free to come out and join the warmth if they want to. So it's a, a choice driven system, which I really do appreciate. Did you ever see these black things on there before? The black um, trays? No. Those are new. Well, I think they hooked them up because there's some food in yeah. them. Yeah. I'm just wondering if you have ever seen them before. Uh, no. I don't think so, but okay. that is definitely for them to yeah, they get feed off of them. Yeah. yeah, it looks like they're just all sitting inside there. We'll go around and take a look from the other side and see if the chimpanzees uh, are over there, but I doubt it. Squirrel! They're like, ah, it's only a human on a four-wheeler. Ooh! And they also took out this, uh, the planter that was here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that was, uh, I'm sure to make more room for people to come through. And yeah, I don't see any of them. Yep. Oh, here we go. Monkey see, monkey do. Oh, and they also took out this planner. Yep. No Halloween decorations here. So nice and peaceful in here. You 
going to see what uh, which. Uh, oh, oh, there they are. Yeah. Go by the window. Looks like Bolingo and NZ and uh, I forgot what the other son was named. <laughs> yeah, Bolingo and his two boys. Daddy got the boys back in home. Yeah. <laughs> Time to eat lunch. Take a nap. Yeah. Now there is something new that is all covered up over here. Something big. Something big and Something that has wheels. Because I'm pretty sure. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I thought it had wheels. But it is all covered up. And this is for the Sin City Zombies. This is going to be one of the scare zones for Hollow Scream. And yes, uh, I won't get to see. Uh, well, don't watch any of my videos and you will be spoiler free. You guys watch the videos. Yeah, you guys can watch the videos. So, um, yet yeah, uh, as a little... Um, Nope. Maggie will not be with us next week. She's going across the state to go see her mom. And my sister. And her sister. So I am going to have the pleasure of having a solo day and also catching Hollow Scream all by myself. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Penguins. Get the penguins. They're quite active this morning. So, um, yep, I will be here all by myself next week. And uh, hopefully you uh, stay, uh, stay tuned and follow for Hollow Scream. <laughs> get all Hollow Scream information. Yeah, but he didn't get his shirt yet, and I did. Uh -huh. yeah, so I might get it next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still have the wicker man here. And um, it is it is still post hurricane. And uh, well, it, it's been a great day so far. We got a lot of rides in. We're gonna head over to the Serengeti Flyer now. And then probably go grab a bite to eat for lunch. And we're getting hungry. I haven't heard the um... train. No, not the train. The Falcon's Fury drop. Yep. We got to go over here and take a look at them. Oh, yeah. There they are. With their backs towards us. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Jimmy.
it is um, a quite warm let's just say that uh, it, it as you can see it is partly cloudy and uh, it did give us uh, it did drop off some rain for us but for the most part um, yeah it is humid and uh, yeah it's a humid day not too hot but getting there okay there is a train running on Kumba off in the distance there <laughs> looks like only one person on there though so testing it out I'm sure they're testing it out rumor has it it probably will reopen either tomorrow or Sunday as you know, last week they just poured the footers. Uh, kind of thought it was kind of quick that they started running cycles. All green stand platform. Did not see any new progress over there and we haven't actually heard Falcon's Fury running so it's going to be questionable if we'll be able to get a bird's eye view of the area. Uh, if that's the case we'll just stick the camera over the fence. Like we usually do. Like we usually do. Well, as I predicted last week, this would probably have been finished this week. And it is. Yeah, now we got some nice shade to look at our elephant girls. And we're catching the wind at the wrong time because, boy, it doesn't stink. So now we have some nice shade. I love the wood look. Gives it a like an African theme to it. Well, here it is, guys. It's been closed for a little while, and here in the Dragonfire Grill, they have the Coaster Coffee Company Express. Yay! Okay, folks, we're going to try this again. Obviously, whatever happened to Falcon's Fury also broke my camera because it was not recording the last time. So for some disappointing news, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Falcon's Fury is not running and it's got to be one of these three guys here. 
They're all, it's like Larry, Curly, and Mo. let's all point fingers. So, uh, <coughs> we're not sure if it's uh, actually due to the hurricane, but uh, it was not in operation before the storm came through. <coughs> and it's still not in operation, but they are working as hard as they can to try to get, <coughs> try to get it up and running for us. Also turns out right behind uh, them over there, Scorpion is also closed. Well, she should be opening back up soon. They're testing her now. Oh, they're testing her now. But since we can't get our aerial bird's eye view of Project Calcion, guys, guess what we're gonna do? Extendo stick time. <laughs> now, now we're gonna have to do this all over again. All right. Yeah, we're still recording. So this is going to be the new area for Project Calcion. And we'll ride through here and see if there's any changes. we have the entrance for the residents home for the holidays a hollow scream house and yeah see if there's any other changes that they made around here well the Pantopia theater is all closed up and they don't have shows listed anymore so I'm guessing Rescue Tales is no more, which is a shame because that was a, a, a pretty decent show. Um, I just wish that they could have gotten more animals into it. Uh, I always like the animal shows. If you guys are wondering, bring back the bird show. That was excellent. We are coming up to Kumba. I don't believe it's open yet. But they are running tests. They're running people. Okay, so guess what? They must have just opened. How you doing? What's up, guys? Doing that, that's kind of yeah. quick. Yeah, a little bit faster. That, that, that's very quick yeah, after replacing sorry. two footers. Well, that. All the annual maintenance stuff that just happened, so we should. Be oh, good. you did also a whole bunch of annual yeah, maintenance. Yeah, they went okay. annual maintenance. The whole we got we got this from Sean here. They went through the whole annual maintenance cycle, while they were also replacing a couple of footers right before the. Uh, what do they want to call that? The bat wing? No. Uh, for the cobras. The cobra. Cobra roll. The cobra roll. The actual official term for it. So, but I, that that was quick. That that cements. 
Yeah. They're looking at it now. I'm trying to check it out. It's but people are on there riding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, okay. they're in there. Uh, do we need to show you our oh, yellow sheet? You guys are getting a five minute wait. Go have fun. Okay, we're going to go have fun. Uh, Sean told us to go have fun, so we're going to go have fun. been on this yet today? No, we're no. just coming on. So they smooth. just opened it up because yeah. it was running test runs earlier today. Yeah. We're so happy. It's, it, yep. it's, it's been, okay, so I mean, the line's not like super long, but since I've been, I rode it twice just now, and um, like it's been almost full train, so it's nice to see it going with like full trains, yeah. Nice. And is it just one train operation today? Currently, it's one train. Currently, I mean, just I, one I, train? I, I, I believe they should have I don't know if it'll be on again today, but I think as we get into the weekend, it's, they should have the second train. Yeah. Or, well, train two because currently. because do you know that one one of those trains is very close to the end of its life. Okay. It's already ran like fifty thousand cycles or some uh, it's, I don't know some outrageous number. Okay. So what they're doing is they keep it in the coaster barn until the weekend, so they don't end its life yeah. quicker. Yeah. yeah. They want to keep the less cycles as possible on it. So, yeah, I don't blame them if they're only running one train during the weekday. And that looks almost full. So, yeah, and that was quite quick. I mean, not even not even a week, and they already got trains running with people on them. And and there, there was a lot of. I understand. Uh, I understand. Like. It is good to, to be conscientious about what goes on, but there was a lot of people who kind of denied that it was going to be open anytime soon, and I've got a lot of confidence in what the park does and their whole maintenance team, and it's operational now. And it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I have a lot of confidence in our park's maintenance team too. They really are spot on, and yeah, I mean, yeah, you might have some contractors out there saying, yeah, you need to wait a whole month for it to cure and all this and all that. Well, the noise tells you differently. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on and get a ride. Well, here we go, guys. Putting a lot of trust in the maintenance guys. It just went through its annual maintenance cycle. And they also replaced a couple of footers right before the Cobra roll. And, well, there's a truck way back there. talking away over there somewhere. Oh wait! Well, they got a whole bunch of stuff coming. And questionable what they got in there.
Take that, all you haters. <laughs> Kumba is roaring. It's big. It's big. <laughs> you can see the new footer is in place. And there's also one that was down over here. And uh, the ride, as we have just ridden it, is in operation. Nice new shoes, Kumba. Nice new shoes. Well, so far, the beginning of the day, Falcon's Fury, Cheetah Hunt, Scorpion, and Kumba were all closed. While we just rode on Kumba, it's opened back up. Falcon Fury and Scorpion, on the other hand, still down. And as you can hear, Kumba is roaring as loud as ever in the background. And as for Cheetah Hunt, well, Cheetah Hunt did open up, delayed opening, but it did open up. And uh, we got uh, one more ride we want to hit before we go. Well, one more ride and one to re-hit. <laughs> So we're uh, on our way to head back to Shikra and then over to Irangwazi and then we're going to call it a day guys. Um, thanks for sticking around with us and I hope you enjoyed the update. Whatever update there was, there wasn't too much of an update. Nothing has changed. Um, the only thing actually that has changed is uh, about a week and a half ago there was a notice of commencement that was in the permit for Project Halcyon. Uh, if you guys know what that's supposed to mean, you can write it down in the comment, any of the contractors out there. Uh, to me, notice of commencement means that they are going to commence working on Project Halcyon. That means what? Put the sidewalks in, put the building pad down, who knows? But work is gonna commence very soon. So we should start seeing them going vertical, I'm hoping within the next month. Stay tuned. We'll bring you all the newest information as it comes across our ears. Okay, we have the shortcut here. This is going to be a scare zone. And nope, no update on the sky ride. And I don't know. No, and that was just under, so I guess we are not going to be riding on Shikra. Uh, and I just heard an announcement that somebody can come off the lift hill on the log flume, which that tells me that they're being called off the ride. We're gonna go ahead and check out Chikra just in case. You never know. They may have closed it down. Well, the idea of getting a ride on Chikra went And any other ride. And any other rides. Um, well, the guy up at the front thought we were in orange, but when I called up the phone number, they said the park was in red, so. Uh, that means, yeah, thunder is a little bit, thunder and lightning is a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, even the train is closed. So, we're just going to head over to the big front and uh, see if there's any changes in any of the hollow scream decorations or anything else like that. Oh no! There's corn. There's corn here now, folks. Beware the children of the corn. Yeah. Are they real? Yeah, they're real. Yeah, that's, uh, that's real corn. Yeah, but there's no corn on it. Uh, yeah. Where? Right there's one. Like there's two. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. One and two. Right there. Yep. Wow. So, in case 
you are ever gonna get hungry during hollow scream, just pull some of the corn off the stalk. Uh. Ah! No, don't do that. Making this place really confusing to traverse through. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. Wonder if there's anything else hiding up here. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Oh wait. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, there's a guy hiding over here, and a guy hiding over here, and all these pumpkins hiding all up there. <laughs> Some more corn. Oh wow. And just beyond just beyond Raven's Mill and the cornfields. Look at the nice red on that. Looks like all our birds are closed off. Yep. How much of lorikeets in the trees. And there's a whole bunch of them. I hear them in there. Yeah, I see them. Uh, yeah, temporary closed due to inclement weather, which means everything will probably be closed. And now over here by Sesame Street, we're entering Beyond the Veil, another scare zone. Yeah. It might not be running. By the time you guys see this video, you'll have less than a week before Hollow Scream. Uh, right now it's uh, one week from today, and uh, yeah. yeah, there is. Yep, yeah, next week. Are you interested in going? Ah, uh, and they did. So we're gonna have somebody on like bungees jumping out at us right here. Yeah, that is interesting. No Sesame Street music going on. I mean, usually they have that when they have the shows and then if they don't have shows, they don't have the music. I really wanted to learn my ABCs though. <laughs> well, there are people sitting over there waiting. Probably Coffee. Yeah, that's a very good possibility. Could be a technical difficulty because of, uh, we, well, we did hear some lightning, so. Well, that'll do it for us for today. Yeah, uh, it's getting hot. It's very hot. It, well, it started out hot and humid, and it's just getting, getting worse. worse. And uh, we did hear some thunder in the distance. The clouds are picking up. Uh, they did go to orange for a little bit. Uh, while we're trying to get on Shikra, but uh, and then we decided, okay, well, we're gonna go home. And then we uh, grabbed a sample, our free sample, and we decided to go ahead and uh, take a little break and grab our free sample. And it turns out Iron Gwazi started running again, so they came out of orange, got our last run in, and boy, was that thing hot, 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 and cooking. So that'll be it for today. Don't forget to get your Hollow Scream tickets. Hollow Scream starts next week. Yeah. It's Friday, September 8th. Be, be here and be scared. Or be square. 
faced your fears. If you have any. And that'll be it for the Bush Gardens junkies here, Paul and Maggie. See y'all.